Hi, it's Jody. I'm an active duty Navy corpsman assigned with the Fleet Marine Force Unit. I'm going to teach you how to insert a nasopharyngeal airway, also known as an MPA. As part of casualty assessment, you must ensure the casualty is able to move air in and out and breathe properly. If other maneuvers have failed to provide and maintain a clear airway, you should insert a nasopharyngeal airway device, or MPA. Inspect the nose for any obstructions that would prevent insertion of an MPA. Open the MPA provided in your first aid kit. The MPA that comes in most first aid kits fits an average sized adult. An MPA is a flexible tube with one flanged end and one beveled end that can allow an unconscious casualty or a casualty with an airway obstruction to breathe more easily. Lubricate the end of the MPA with the lubricating jelly from the first aid kit or with water. Do not use the patient's blood or petroleum-based or non-water-based substances to lubricate this device. The patient's saliva can be used if the proper lubricant is not available. Expose the opening of the casualty's right nostril. To do this, place your fingers on the casualty's forehead and place your thumb on the tip of the casualty's nose. Piggy the nose. Try pulling the nose back, preparing it for MPA insertion. Insert the MPA into the right nostril at a 90 degree angle to the face with the beveled tip pointed towards the middle of the nose. Insert the MPA until the flange or flared end is flush with the nostril using a quick fluid movement pushing toward the ground and not toward the top of the head. Remember to use caution and never force the airway into the casualty's nostril. If resistance is met, attempt a light rocking motion and try to gently reinsert. If successful but the patient begins to gag or choke, pull the MPA out slightly and leave it in place. If unable to insert it into the right nostril, pull the MPA out completely and attempt to insert it into the left nostril. If inserting into the left nostril, you will need to rotate the MPA after it is approximately two inches into the patient's nose, so the curve of the MPA is oriented downwards. With the MPA inserted, continue to assess breathing and respiration by using the look, listen, and feel technique to assess for air movement. Look for rise and fall of the chest, listen for breathing sounds, and feel for their breath against your cheek. Remember, if the casualty is awake, place them in a sitting position or the recovery position. If they are unconscious without a suspected spine injury, put them in the recovery position. But if you suspect a spinal injury, leave the casualty as you find them on the hard, flat surface. Document all medical aid rendered on the casualty's DD-1380 Tactical Combat Casualty Care Card, if available. Inform medical personnel of your findings and any medical aid provided and assist with evacuation as requested.